this practical ease to isolate and detect sanocytes from the given sample of sana. The requirements to perform this practical includes sana leaflets, ammonia, benzene, chloroform, calcium chloride, and phosphorus pentoxide. The apparatus which is required, it includes electrical shaker, beaker, stirrer, etc. So the theory behind this practical is that the sanocytes are diostereoacetamide mixture which contains sanocyte A and sanocyte B. These sanocytes are laxative and cathartic in nature. So they are used to treat the constipation. Chemically, they are anthraquinone glycosides. So the basic skeleton of these sanocytes is like this. They are anthracene derivatives and having dianthron moiety in their structure. Sanocytes, they also act as stimulant laxative. That means they retain water in the intestine which helps in the movement of the intestine. And due to this effect, it prevents the constipation. So these sanocytes are employed before surgery and before bowel examination to clear the intestine. The source for these sanocytes is Casea angustifolia. And this Casea angustifolia is also known as Tinamli sana. It is found in the Tamil Nadu state of India and other species which includes these sanocytes, they are Casea angustifolia, which is known as Alexandrian Senna. But we prefer the Indian variety of Senna, that is Casea angustifolia, not the acutifolia. So, these sanocytes require a special procedure for their isolation. There are several steps which we will perform in their isolation. Initially, we take the Senna leaflets, and convert these leaflets into coarse powder. For this, we can use grinder to reduce the size of leaflets and we can also convert them into powder form by mixing or by pressing between our two hands. So after converting it into the coarse powder, this powder is further treated with the benzene. Benzene is basically used for defecting of the material. And for this treatment, we use electrical shaker and keep the coarse water in the benzene solvent and cap it for two hours. After that, we filter it and the filtrate is discarded, but the mark is further carried out to perform the isolation. So we dry the mark at room temperature and then treat that mark with the 70% of the methanol. We use methanol as a solvent because sanocytes are glycosides and glycosides are having their solubility in the polar solvents. So methanol being polar in nature is used for the isolation of these sanocytes. So we treat the mark with methanol for two hours and again filter it. The mark is again dried and it is treated with the fresh methanol for further two hours. The next step is we combine both these methanolic extracts to get the one extract and further we concentrate it to one fourth or one eighth of the volume in its original stage. So after concentrating this we acidify it by using the hydrochloric acid and adjust its pH around 3.2. And after the addition of the XL, we keep it for 2 hours at the temperature of 5 degrees Celsius. Then after 2 hours, we filter it and add calcium chloride that should be in the form of anhydrous. So that any kind of the moisture if that is present in the previous steps of the isolation that can get removed. So with the addition of the calcium chloride, we do continuous stirring while adding this and again we kept it for some time. Then we add ammonia to the filtrate. So here with the addition of the ammonia the pH becomes 8 that is basic in nature. So after this we filter the solution and that is kept for 
two hours. So during these two hours, the precipitates get formed and we filter it and collect the precipitates. So these precipitates are taken in the oil or butter paper and kept in the desiccator. The desiccator must have phosphorus pentoxide so that these precipitates during storage do not absorb any kind of the moisture from the surrounding environment. So this is the procedure for the isolation of these sanocytes. After the isolation, then the next step is detection. That we have to detect the presence of sanocytes in the extract that is obtained by performing this procedure. So for the detection of these sanocytes, we know that the identification test which is used for sanocytes is bond trigger test. So we perform this test on this extract. For this, we take a little amount of the extract and dissolve it in dilute HCl. Then we add chloroform to it and shake well. After the addition of ammonia, the ammonical layer shows pink color, which shows the presence of sanocytes. The presence of pink color in the ammonical layer indicates the presence of sanocytes. So hence, it is confirmed that the sanocytes are present in the given sample of the extract if it gives pink color in ammonical layer. So this is the procedure for the detection and isolation of the sanocytes from the given sample of sana. And the uses of sanocytes are, they are used as cathartics, purgatives and as a stimulant laxatives. So these are used to treat the constipation. Thank you.